What's up, I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're doing an opening for the Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock and Autobot Wheelie. Yes, I got this toy. I was able to find it in stores, which is funny because it's the only Studio Series figure of the 86 line that I was able to find in the physical store. Uh, I'm still missing a couple of them, but uh, at least we got Grimlock, and he looks amazing. I love the gold paint applications. It actually looks nice. Wheelie is there. Just there. Uh, the packaging looks pretty good. It is the biggest figure so far in the Studio Series 86 line. It is the biggest figure of this first wave of 86 specific figures. And we are going to open it from the bottom. The reason why I do it from this side is because it's generally easier to do it because you got these flaps that you just pull open even though it kind of stresses the cardboard. It doesn't really matter. It makes uh, the rest of the cardboard look fine. There's the instructions and we are going to open this all the way up and pull out the backdrop with the figure. And there he is. He's got the Quinnison Escape backdrop thing. I'm going to put the box down like that. But uh, let's take a look at the backdrop itself. I think this is the same style backdrop that came with the uh, Pit of Quinnisons. And what I mean by that is not just the fact that, oh, it's the same setting. I think that's probably the same artwork. Anyways, uh, there's the Grimlock with Wheelie and his little rifle. Let's go ahead and pull these open, starting with the Wheelie figure that everyone loves. I definitely recommend getting the Firetox uh, upgrade kit because this Wheelie is uh, not that good looking. Um, at least you can pose him in a, hey, I'm shooting stuff pose. The ball joint in the head is a little tight, but... Um, yeah, this isn't good. Maybe if I can get in a pose like that, maybe it'll be okay. Can I stand him up? Uh, doesn't really want to. Okay, yeah, I can stand him up like that. I know that was off camera, but I could do it. I, I swear. Taking out his rifle. Um, come on. Let me cut the twist tie. There we go. So he doesn't come with a sword, which is a little disappointing. I know people say, well, in the movie he didn't have a sword. I don't care. Give him a sword. But the gun looks nice. You know, it's got kind of a, a seat looking section. Can you actually put wheelie there? Ah, uh, that sucks, but that would have been cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a little gun. You got tabs on the side and a peg right there. And uh, it seems blast ports compatible. Let's go ahead and take out Grimlock. It seems like there's only four little twisty thingies. And uh, let's see if we can pull them out. Come on. Come on, Grimlock. Come on, Grimlock. It seems like there's something else in the way. Oh, is that a twist tie? Yeah, that's a twist tie, too. Let me cut that out. There we go. And there is Grimlock. Yes, he is out of the prison package thingy ma -bobber. And my, oh my, does he look good. The wings feel a little loose, or a lot looser than I thought they would be, but, uh, my god, a nice big size Grimlock. I don't have to rely on that Power of the Primes toy. You can also open up the fingers. This one feels very loose by comparison, but, uh, Whatever, and you can pop out the elbow so you can give him that proper articulation. Maybe. There we go. Pop that side out. There we are. Give him his gun, his little rifle thing. It's not really small for him. And there is Grimlock. Man, oh man, does he look fantastic. Let me lower the camera just a tad, just a bit. Yeah. I like how uh, Grimlock just remains to be the biggest guy, you know? with the uh, first Studio Series figure, and now this. Uh, with the backdrop, yeah, that looks pretty good too. I like this, I really like this. Uh, articulation seems fine, he's got ratchets in the knees, so that's good. Uh, ankle tilt, which uh, they've added this little bit of plastic to really help out. Wrist articulation, waist articulation, ball joints in the head, nice, beautiful blue visor, I love that. He is just coming together, and he looks fantastic. A couple of loose joints are problematic, but you know what? It's not the biggest issue regarding this toy and uh, with uh, most figures. Yeah, I really do like that. So Wheelie has this singular peg at the bottom here, and you can plug that onto the top right here. Or at least try to. It's a little tight. But he just sits on his shoulder, and I might leave him like that because... I don't know, he's got, like, no other uses. He's basically just an accessory to Grimlock. The only thing I don't like about Wheelie, I don't care that it doesn't transform, because we got the Titans Returns toy, that's whatever. Ball joint and knees 
it was not that hard to figure that out. I mean, you guys have done it before. If you had ball joint knees or hinge knees, this would have been fine. This would have been suitable. It would have been okay, but no. So it's just junk. Uh, the knees are a little bit wobbly, but they're not that bad. This ratchet joint is uh, not that tight, but this joint is. Ooh, I love the feel of that ratchet joint. Yes, yeah, so that's nice. The hips are a little loose too. There's no ratchet in that, but you know what? He can hold himself and you know, that's all I need. Uh, let's see, ratchet joints there. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. I like the way he looks. Yes, they're hollow on the side, but I kind of understand why they have to be. He just looks so good. Look at that thing. Ah, oh, there's hair on it. Isn't that awesome? Oh my god, I just keep putting them on the backdrop. This is a really good looking Grimlock. I know some people leave this off, but I don't want to. I, I want to leave that on. It just gives him a little bit of color on his chest. Ah, now we got to transform him. For the sake of the transformation, I've put him in a just static pose. We're going to flip these up and flip these in. I thought that they would... Okay, they do kind of pop into place. There we go. Leave these open like so. And uh, next, we, what we're going to do is flip that up. And by the way, I love the fact that they give him a porthole on the back, despite the fact this isn't technically a siege figure. Isn't that cool? All right, so uh, you're supposed to do something with the feet. Oh, yeah, these flip up like so. Or on a double joint and just flip in like that. And then next, what we want to do, open these sections up. And that is where the tail will come to play. We bring this up and fold that all the way up. Like so. I almost flipped that the wrong way. There we go. So we have this. And then next what we want to do is untab them from the knees. It looks like that isn't even tabbed in. Oh, it is. Okay. So untab that. That was uh, not too hard. That is really loose on that side, but whatever. And then I want to push that on there. And uh, there we go. We bring these back. I just saw a video of the transformation of this, so it's not going to be too difficult to do. And then we connect the legs like so. And they should tab into the waist like that. And is there another tab? It doesn't seem to be. And then these will fold in like so. Make sure that the tails are out of the way. And then collapse that in like so. And we should have something like this. So we got a big tail section. Uh, next, what we want to do is just push this down like so. And then this will fold down. And there's a couple of tabs here. And then there's this mega tab right here. And that will all lock into. And that will help support the sides. Uh, we can also now, at this point, pop the legs the other way. That is a really tight joint. Oh, and that just fell back. Come on back into place there we go and then I, I assume with these it will be easier to hold into place and uh let's see grimlock's head will fold down like so so unfortunately you can't do that power of the primes hey it's a dinosaur with a robot head thing so maybe there is use for that toy after all close that up that will fold down and it kind of snaps into place fold down the head oh my god that is Beautiful. Da -na 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 I ah, this thing doesn't want to tab into place. I guess that's my only real criticism there. Maybe it's not in all the way. Uh, there we go. That feels better. Okay, there's Grimlock in his robot mode and uh, or alt mode. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because I mean he uses both of them. But I love this thing. You could also take the gun and if you squish the sides, you should be able to tab this into place like so. And uh, now you have weapon storage. It looks dumb, but you have that. And then also these pegs are supposed to connect into here. I think some people assume it's these pegs, but no, he's got these little slots right here that you're supposed to direct the legs in between, I think. Yeah, that, that okay, that makes a lot more sense. And there you have Wheelie wide, Widing Grimlock. You have Wheelie Wide Grimlock. Okay. And you could also put them on the side, <laughs> uh, which would be good when they do the spike for slag. Um, I'm into it. I really like it. And I will admit, if they do any more leader class Dinobots, I just might be interested. You know, I 
still have those Power of the Primes toys, but it's very clear to me that they are going to be outdated very quickly. And I love this thing. He just, he has the pure charm of Grimlock. Yes, he doesn't have teeth at the front, but you know what? That face, that is Grimlock, and I love it. I, I really love this thing. So, with that out of the way, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun do-nets. And I will see you guys next time.